this is the world's largest hand dug well in Greenberg, Kansas. Um, if you re maybe remember, it was uh, 2007, there was actually a tornado here that just devastated the uh, town. And uh, some of you will know, because obviously you're from where I am, but um, Godridge, Ontario, uh, in Canada, we had a tornado in 2011. So I kind of understand. But uh, anyways, all right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go see what this is looks like here. I'm going to go up up top first. Nice, uh, nice viewing area up here. Tell me they're cutting concrete over there and that's not actually smoke. No, I think there's bricks. I think they're cutting something down there. So the well itself is 109 feet deep. Um, so when they got to the bottom of the well, they had about 10 to 20 feet of water. Let's uh, take a walk down, shall we? So they said every so many feet, and I think it was 12 feet, they had timbers. They had timbers that went from here, and they went right across. braces here and so the staircase is actually attached to them which goes all the way up which the top of the dome actually supports that so that way there's no um, no pressure on the walls or anything like that so yeah cool world's largest dug well Um, I forget what year they set up there where they deemed all open wells um, could be contaminated. So that's why it was shut down. And then they went to um, the pumps, which kind of makes sense. Damn, fuck. I just missed three fire jets, went right over top of me, but they were so low that by the time I even heard them, they were already this way. They were that they were that low. It, it shook the, ca the uh, camper, but of course by the time I get out of here, it's way too late. Damn, 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 damn. Beautiful morning, but I'll tell you something, it's freaking cold. Yes, yesterday it was 86 degrees here. I shit you not, right now, it got to freezing last night. Right now, I think it's at 40. At 10 o'clock in the morning, the wind's blowing like a bastard, too. You guys? What? Okay, guys. I am in... I'm hoping... 
I got the mic shoved in my my hoodie here because it's extremely windy and cold here right now. I'm at McPherson uh, County uh, State Lake. I'm about three hours kind of west of um, Kansas City. And I'm taping this because um, I do it all the time. I don't, I don't usually record it and, and Lori knows because uh, we do it all the time every time we go somewhere. Um, now this is a free camping spot along the lake. So it's kind of my way of um, paying it forward, right? Uh, they allow me to stay here, so I um, collect garbage. Every time, I, I'm always picking up trash and stuff like that. So I just got here about an hour ago and uh, started setting up. So I'm just gonna walk around and pick up garbage. Cause for some reason, people think that uh, free uh, camping spots mean a free place to litter to get rid of their garbage for some strange reason and I'm not sure why. Um, like cans and stuff in the fire pits and, and I just don't understand why people think that uh, littering's okay. Like I said before guys, I'm hoping that uh, you can uh, hear me okay with this wind. I kind of tucked the uh, mic um, in my hoodie here. So it's, it's not really that nice out right now. I think it's like 40 degrees. And um, I don't know if it's supposed to warm up at all, but I don't think it is. But anyways, yeah, so I normally, I don't do the entire place, but I try to do, you know, close to where I am camping. That looks like insulation or something. Pink insulation, how the hell would it get out here? But anyways, yeah, people think that, throw in their cans maybe when they're in their boat or whatever they just throw them out and... I say can in there but it's in about a foot and a half of water so I can't go oh great look at this jugs oil jugs watch me get soaked here Oh gosh, and they're full of water. Mobile oil jugs, isn't that sad? Holy, f you're not gonna believe this. Ah, son of a bitch. Here I thought they were full of water. It's actually full of used oil, guys. Somebody decided to change the oil in their vehicle or their boat and toss the jugs in the water. These both have used oil in it. What in the hell is wrong with people? Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, I well, I know this probably won't show up, but can you see inside there? It's oil. Both of them. Like, what's wrong with the human race? Anyways, guys, I haven't even been on this side of the truck yet, okay? Like, so there's the truck there. I haven't even been on this side yet. I just been, well, I should, I, I, so I've been to the end of this little peninsula here and walked up here. Look at the garbage I found already. Look at this. I broke I broke that bag, so I have to go get another one because the, the sharp cans ripped it. But that came out of one fire pit. That's all one fire pit, and there's another bag there. And I was just filling up this one with twine and stuff when I came across these two jugs. Free camping. There, you, there's spots over on that side of the lake. Look at this, guys. Come on, people. They're gonna shut this shit down. And we'll be all sitting at home staring out a window. And I hope, I really hope that you guys are, that are taking your kids out for quality time one-on-one -on -one, are teaching them right and wrong because this is wrong. Like, I mean, I just picked up all the garbage out of here and that camp site there or that um, fire pit is where I got that one bag out of. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to start recording and keep walking. Then I came across these two jugs. I got to clean my hand, but it's absolutely sad. Freaking sad that we're throwing, throwing this all away. 
used oil in the lake. Fuck, people. Anyways, now I'm disgusted. I was going to go crack a beer, but I can't even drink. Well, yeah, I can have a beer. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Look at this. Unbelievable. And I saw geese. When I first pulled in here, there was uh, two geese sitting at the uh, Canadian geese. Woo! <laughs> uh, sitting at the end of this peninsula. So that was kind of cool. I didn't get a chance to record them yet. Um, but anyways, it's still early. So <clears throat> anyways, guys, now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all this. How do I get rid of the used oil and I'm on the road? So I'm going to put all these. I got a big garbage bag. I got to put them before this all rips the other bags. I'm going to go get a big garbage bag and put them in. But as far as this used oil, I have no idea. Maybe if a state park person comes in, I can wave them down or something. But anyways, guys, it's sad. I don't, I don't even know what to say. It's sad. And like I said before, I'm going to stay on this side of the truck for a second. There we go. It's, uh, it's pretty sad that this is what we're given and we're willing to throw it away for the next generation or like it, it's common sense. And I'm even, I'm even ashamed that I even have to bring it up because we as, as adults, oh, there's another piece of garbage before it gets blown away. Um, we as adults are supposed to be teaching the next generation. And obviously there's people bringing their kids out for camping and they're showing their kids what you're allowed to do. I'm sure there is. I, I, I know there is. So wake up, people. Wake up. Freaking sad. Friends, Dolly, is that a cool sight? And my friends are back. That's Indy and Humphrey. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, see, that's some funny shit right there. <clears throat> I could hear those helicopters coming for about a solid five minutes. And then, what? What do you guys want? Huh? I'm not really sure if this was a good idea or not, guys. I uh, thought I was just gonna stop and go for a bit of a hike and from the road, it looked like a nice spot to go for a hike, but now that I'm in here, uh, she's a little dense. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna go much further. <laughs> We're gonna be uh, hitting the road here and stopping at a very cool spot next, so. Anyways, guys, as usual, be good, be kind, be careful, and we will talk to you very shortly. Bye-bye.